free. Hey guys, so The Terrifier. Much like 2014's The Babadook, The Terrifier seems to be the new film that's picking up word of mouth recommendations and praise. So that being said, I decided to review it. So let's get into the good. Okay guys, so let's get into the good. Right off the bat, David Howard Thornton plays the titular character known as Art the Clown. The guy that you've seen on the poster art. Okay, I gotta say, he is a scary, scary, scary clown. And not only that, but brilliantly acted. It's like the subtleties. He'll do things like... It's so scary. You, you know, and it's one of those things where it's like, it's a slasher movie. And usually at this point with the Freddies and the Leatherfaces and the Jasons, you know, the list goes on and on. Slashers aren't very scary, but the Terrifier manages to be a scary slasher. Where every time you're seeing Art the Clown, or the, you know, the clown you see on the cover, you're feeling uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable. Now, let me give praise to Damien Leon. He's the writer and director. He crafted this incredible film where he manages to keep this 80s vibe horror. Think like Adkin to uh, Kevin Bacon with the harpoon through the neck in uh, Friday the 13th Part 1 or Part 2, I don't remember. But the visual effects are very practical. So when you see something getting cut off, you're seeing it getting cut off, and it's kind of great to have practical effects because I feel like they've been long dead. And what Damien Leon, writer, director, did is he managed to bring practical effects. And he also keeps this 80s vibe. The character's terrifying, no pun intended, of course. The soundtrack really sets the mood and ramps up the tension, and the violence is very uncomfortably done well. I mean, honestly, it's amazing. So let's get into the bad. So the bad. Okay, the bad is, and not to discredit any of these things, but unfortunately, some of the people that were casted in the film, when they deliver their lines, it feels like a soap opera. Or sometimes it just doesn't seem convincing. It's like not every actor, not counting the main cast, but more the un other actors that are kind of throughout the film. I don't know, sometimes they just miss their marks, or they, they hold the note too long, or they hold an awkward silence. It's never quite right, and that's an issue that it faces. And my final complaint is there's one scene in particular that requires a handsaw, and I just couldn't stomach it. Well, let's give this a rating. Let's, let's bury this thing. On a scale of 1 to 10, the Terrifier is an 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. I thought it was fantastic. It was great. It, 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 Damien Leon managed to bring back old school horror in 2018. He managed to make a terrifying slasher character that is terrifying. I like to imagine that this is what Michael Myers felt like when he first came upon us. What Freddy Krueger was first like before he became this lovable icon. And that's what Art the Clown is. This is a solid slasher entry. I can't wait to see what Damien Leon, writer and director, does next. See the Terrifier. The hype is real. 